Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Ring Chronicles. Today we're coming back at you with a something a bit different. It's a ratchet video, but kind of more like a ratchet wrench. And this one's a real blast from the past. This one is probably over a hundred years old. It it says Ford on it. And it's the 5-Z-249 tool. And before we jump into it, if you find my videos at all helpful or entertaining, could you please give me a like and also subscribe to this channel. Okay, uh, these were made, you see the two M's symbols here on the side. These were made by the Frank Mosberg Company. Uh, Frank Mosberg Company was an early tool company, like I said, maybe over 100 years ago. And uh, their claim to fame was that they were a very early socket wrench set company. So before the 20s, if you was looking for a socket set or sockets, usually there was a Frank Mosberg company and I think somebody else, I think it was Walden, was an early uh, socket set uh, company. But, but there, that's their claim to fame. They were early on, they they were one of the first companies to uh, produce sockets. Okay, and this, this tool I think is 11 sixteenths, the hole here, and it does ratchet. It's kind of rough to ratchet. Uh, I'm gonna put a tool in here and show you how it ratchets in a second. But it's just two pieces, the top, the top and the bottom piece and it's riveted together with two rivets here and the ratchet mechanism is just this one pawl here there's the pawl pin the pawl is in there and it has this little spring that uh, facilitates the ratcheting returning the pawl back back to uh, its position and to tell you the truth I can't believe a hundred years later that that little thin spring is still intact even though uh, some of the teeth are not on this but we'll, we'll see that in a second and this is what it looks like somebody put their initials there J JD I think so uh, but I think these were, these came with Model T Fords and they were to, this was an adjustment tool to adjust the transmission and they call it the uh, reverse band or possibly the brake bands on the transmission. There was a video on uh, YouTube that I saw that shows how to adjust uh, the bands on the transmission and I guess this was the tool that came with the car that would help you do that. Uh, adjust uh, what they call bands. It looks, it didn't look like a band to me. It looked uh, more like a, a bolt with uh, a spring and something else. But I guess, I guess they called them bands. And this tool is about eight inches long. So not too small but not too long either and let me put this plier in here so I can so I can get it to uh, ratchet and this tool this uh, this gear has 18 teeth they're pretty big and 18 teeth is pretty coarse it's an open gear you can see the you can see the teeth there it's missing I think one tooth right here you see it it's uh, kind of sheared off and there's no switch on this this only goes in one direction so there's no way to switch it switch it back and forth I guess you want to reverse it you just switch it over turn it over and if you want to reverse the other way you just turn it over the other way but yeah pretty simple pretty crude uh, just one piece, one piece of steel looks like it was uh, it was beat into shape there. Just turned. It doesn't look like it was forged or anything. 
It just looked like it was peened or hammered into shape, and it's pretty, pretty bare uh, metal stock here. You know, nothing, nothing really fancy here at all. Just a flat piece of metal, two flat pieces of metal, like hammered together and uh, machined into a shape and riveted together. Pretty simple. Pretty crude by today's standards, I would think. But uh, I kind of like the, f the Ford font here. Looks pretty nice. And I think these were just plain steel. I don't think they came with any... Uh, any coating on them, no chrome or anything back then. You see the inside of the opening here. Yeah, pretty simple. Just three, three rivets holding all this together and a small anvil and a really small spring, thin spring the gear and that's about it yeah just wanted to show you guys this, uh, this is going to be like a quick video this like I said uh, would come with, I guess you bought a Model T Ford back then this would come with it or you would get this from Ford and this would help you adjust your transmission I guess if it started I don't know slipping there's Model T's we're talking about so not many gears there probably I have no idea uh, how those transmissions worked I'm sure they were just standard transmissions the automatic was a long way from being uh, standard in cars so pretty simple probably pretty simple procedure to do this I saw yeah like I said I saw somebody on uh, on YouTube that was adjusting their transmission their Model T transmission and they were showing how it's done and uh, yeah surprising you could do stuff like that back then you can just adjust adjust a lot of stuff on your car like that and no computers or anything to uh, in the way of uh, you, just you and the machine. Okay, guys, uh, that's all I have for now. All right, until next time.